so my name is Ruslan and uh, I'm a part of uh, Ukrainian army. I'm a soldier and before my ma uh, massive uh, Russian invasion into Ukraine I was a data scientist, I was a team lead. When the war, massive war started, I joined the Ukrainian army and um, two years I was at the battlefront. We were performing different uh, military tasks and one of them were robots. This is uh, Raytel H uh, logistics platform. It is a ground robot, uh, drived only with electricity. It has uh, powerful uh, batteries. It is specialized on uh, human evacuation of injured soldiers, dead soldiers, and also for different logistics tasks. It can perform uh, logistical tasks on the battlefield. Its weight is about 900 kilos and it can uh, take up to 400 kilos on it and drive with them. It can be water, it can be a different kind of supplies, ammunition, ammo, guns, etc. The evacuation of injured uh, people at the battlefront is really a big issue nowadays. And evacuation teams are the prior target to the enemy fire. Destroying them is uh, the key to taking any area. The milestone of usage of using such a drones is that uh, we can perform logistics with no people involved. I can tell you just around the value, it's about a Tesla price, 40 to 50 grams. Most of time uh, during the mission, operator is like 10 to 12 kilometers in a safe place. Here we have uh, the small ground robot, it is called Rato S. It is a robotic platform uh, which is specially designed uh, to be multifunctional. Here we have uh, the small kamikaze robot. You can uh, drop up to 30 kilo, uh, kilos of explosive. These small robots are used uh, at the uh, landminers, mainly with our engineering forces, so they can perform uh, field mining remotely. Uh, during the night, one engineer can drag up to two anti-tank landmines, like two, three times per night. And robot can, uh, can be operating all over the night. At this time, we have three to five hundreds of these small robots uh, in service in our army. They are helping our engineering troops to set up minefields, they are helping to destroy different enemy objects like uh, machine gun positions, uh, equipped trenches, etc. And also they can be used to destroy uh, different types of engineering objects like bridges, etc. in case we need it. We do not have military companies providing us, like in Russia, with military drones. We have civilian companies working uh, on a military field. We have more powerful enemy in terms of resources, so we need to be smarter and we are trying to be so.